Finally, I got this thing to work. To oh. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Welcome back. And as you can probably tell, this is going to be a crappy analysis of who would win. Kiyu or Mechagodzilla. Or technically, they're both Mechagodzilla, but I'm going to call Kiyu that because, well, I don't want to get them confused. Starting out with weapons. Kiyu has a shoulder-mounted multi-missile pack and ones that can shoot forward and backwards. So that way she can not only hit her front targets, but also kind of shoot them from afar. That is literally what missiles are for, am I stupid? Next up, she's got forearm mounted little laser masers or whatever they're called. I'm going to call them that because it sounds cool. And with the little zord with an extra zap that comes out. Now, in Tokyo SOS, she does have a um, little drill hand, but I'm not going to count that because, well, it's not important. Plus, there can only be one Mechagodzilla that can have that. Besides that, she's still pretty strong. As you probably know from Dead Battle video, you probably know she's a lot durable and stronger and probably one of the most deadliest out of the bunch. But she's not going up against any Godzilla or Mecha Godzilla. She's going up against, well, Ghidorah. But another thing I also think is interesting, how it's not just machine versus machine. It's going to be cyborg versus cyborg. Kiyo is obviously built around the skeleton of the original Godzilla. Meanwhile, Mecha Godzilla has Ghidorah's skull in the jaw and is obviously has the soul or mind of Ghidorah. Speaking of Mechagodzilla there, let's see what weapons he has. So first up, he's got up close plasma punch. Proton Scream. Oh wait, forgot to say that Kiyu has a, um, the Absolute Zero and the little Mazer Breath. I am so stupid sometimes. got Plasma Punch, Proton Scream, Drill Tail, or Scythe Tail, Tail Scythe, whatever the heck you want to call it. Little buzz saws on its hands and little missiles from his chest and shoulders. So in a way, it's got similar weapons, but at the same time, different. But as for if these are gonna be effective, well, let's see. In terms of like actual strength, I think they're pretty even. Because first off, Mecha Godzilla, well, weighs this much, and Kiyu weighs this much, actually. I don't know, I'm just gonna pop this pictures up on the screen, so you tell me. And that's for like weight, but as for like actual strength, we know Kiyu was able to lift Godzilla, and according to Death Battle, <clears throat> is about 25,000 tons, and that's a lot. And considering how heavy legendary Godzilla is, maybe he's not that heavy. I'm going to have to Google that, make sure I don't fact check that wrong, and uh, make sure I actually do my job correctly. But besides that, they, well, in physical strength, can at least lift a similar amount. As for speed, though, that's where it gets different. For flight, Kiyu can actually fly, which is something that the normal Mecha Godzilla doesn't. Sure, he can, like, pounce and use the jetpacks and whatnot, or jet turbines and whatnot, and he can, well, actually move very quick. Um, he's not exactly gonna be able to chase down Kiyu. And uh, even if you can't shoot the Proton Scream, she's going to be able to tank that. I mean, if she can tank her own Absolute Zero, she is going to take a couple shots from Mecha Godzilla's Proton Scream. So I doubt that they're going to be able to do something. But it depends on how long Kiyu can last before she can actually get a uh, 
solid hit. I covered my mouth. I am so stupid. As it depends on if Kiyu can actually stay airborne or in this case stay active long enough to handle Mechagodzilla. Because that's one thing Mechagodzilla maybe has over Kiyu. And that is stamina. He's able to fight a lot longer because he's got a much more durable power source. Not durable, that makes zero sense. Basically, he's got a lot longer power source. And Kiyu, even though she can last about maybe four hours, tops, just one shot of the absolute zero, as we know from the death battle video, will drain 40% power. And that is pretty big, considering that stamina is going to be a big part of this thing. And the more weapons they use, the more power they're going to use from themselves. And it just depends on which one is going to be able to kill each other first. Mechagodzilla maybe is going to be able to get close enough. Like, close enough, hit her with the Blast and Punch, hit her with the Proton Scream, tail side, maybe end it. But that's a big m maybe, considering Kiyu can, well, lift a lot, like I said, but also can tank hits a lot. So... Up close, she might not have a chance, but long range she probably does. Because if Mechagodzilla is charging at her and she is loading up the Proton Scream, it just depends on if he can get to her long enough or the Proton Scream will do anything before she can shoot it. So, what do we know? Not a lot. We don't know a lot at all. Oh, I'm so stupid. This video is so underwhelming. Okay, as for the winner, I don't know who would actually win, honestly. Maybe my opinion goes to Kiyu. She might not be as physically strong, or in this case, more heavy, compared to normal Mechagodzilla. But I still think she has a chance, because her weapon is definitely going to be able to one-shot Mechagodzilla. And while Mechagodzilla does have the physical strength and probably longer stamina, well... If Kiyu ends this, he's done for, and those, not all the weapons he has is going to be able to do anything. Even if, for example, he did grab Kiyu's arm, she's still going to, in a way, use whatever close range or long range weapon she has. And in both of them are going to be able to control the battlefield. Both of them are going to have different ways of ending it, and they're both going to be able to end themselves with long range. But it just depends on who can get the smaller hits in before they can do the final blow. So, no, this video will not have a winner. Maybe Kiyu, although I don't know. Like I said, that's just my opinion. If you think Mechagodzilla would win or Kiyu would win, please comment below. And if I miss something, please tell me, because I would like to do this video again instead of just, like, missing something, because I would really, really not want to do that, please. All right, well, I'm out. Bye.